Hello, welcome to another session of our exploration as far as teacher education in Ghana is concerned. In the 21st century, you need to be smart in everything that you do. Hard work alone will not pay the price, but being smart will do the magic. As usual, this app is developed by Matthew Nyaba and then myself, the instructor, Macarius Naba. So in this app, I'm going to introduce you to a steady body that is going to assist you as a teacher trainee right from level 100 through to level 400. In this app, you are able to know the courses, all the courses of study that are being run in the various colleges of education in Ghana, right from the first level, as I said, to the second level, both first semester and then the second semester. So this is a buddy, a friend, in the form of an app that is ready and all the time 24 seven um, to assist you in the 21st century. Hard work alone cannot pay much, but smartness will do the magic. So if you want to succeed in your teacher education program, with ease, then you have to take a second look at this particular app. Without wasting my time, let's kindly go to the app and then see what we can do with it. So when the app is launched, after you click on the link, which I'm going to share with you, you'll be um, led to this particular page, which is the interface the user interface of the 21st century teacher educator so this is an ai teacher educator that is going to educate you that is going to help you in your studies so here you are able to interact with all your course syllabi all the lecture notes including some past questions this is very amazing so this chat um, GPT is designed for all students as their smart learning body and smart is underlined it's as hour. I said. You need to learn smartly using materials from the uh, initial teacher education in Ghana. So as usual, um, to start with, you have two options. The first one is either to go by this button by just giving it a click or you go to the prompt area and then you type hi to start any of them that you think you are very okay with you go with it so let's just click and then see what will happen good so the system has started doing the magic it says hello welcome to the 20, your 21st century teacher education assistant designed to support you as you navigate your beard program let's start by selecting some focus area areas to tailor assistance to your needs so here basically the system wants to know you better which level which school and um, if possibly which semester that you are studying for so with the first one it says which school or college are you in and then in the parenthesis you have to choose from among the 46 colleges in ghana that offer teacher education programs and this will help customize examples relevant to your location so this is also culturally um, uh, this thing helpful in your location you'll be able to do much and then the next one is which year are you currently in so you enter a number either one two three or four so here 
one is for level 100, two for level 200, three for level 300, and then four for level 400. And this will guide the course materials and resources specific to your level. So that is basically the information that the system needs from you for now. So what you can do is that you can simply type the corresponding number or provide the name of your institution and year. So let's get going. So maybe the first one, uh, the first question, um, let's say the institution is Baga, Baga College of Education. Good. Now the next one, we go to the second question. So in the second question, we are going to probably choose level 200. So by level 200, we type 2. And then we put in the parenthesis the semester. So let's say second semester. And then we prompt the system. Good. So the system has started working and then bringing out all the courses that you are supposed to study in year two, second semester, based on the BEAD curriculum. And here are the course courses, the core courses you are likely studying this semester. So here we have pedagogy, pedagogic knowledge with ICT and inclusion, that is SEN, special education needs or gender. Then we have psychological basis for differentiated learning and others. So there are six of them here. Then the system again says, please confirm if these align with what you are studying or let me know if there are additional courses to include. And what would you like assistance with next so here you can confirm with your course outline or the course manual as given to you by your tutor to find out if it is in line with this at least to raise any doubt that this system is misleading you then the next thing is that the system wants to find out if there is any assistance. So the first assistance has been given you, which is the uh, courses that you are going to study for the second semester in year two. So the next one is, which of these assistance do you want the system to help you with? One, lecture notes, two, practical questions, practice questions, three, assessment preparation, four steady guidance and then five supported teaching in schools so for you to select any of these options type the number for your choice so for instance let's assume that we want lecture notes and then we type one which is for lecture notes then we prompt the system good so the system has acknowledged that we have selected lecture notes. So let's get started. So which course or subject would you like to explore? Now you bear in mind that um, we, we have the courses listed for us. We haven't chosen any of them and we have requested for lesson notes or lecture notes. So the system wants to find out which of the courses are we looking for the lecture notes with regards to? So we can probably choose the first one. And then, so that is one which is pedagogic knowledge with ICT and inclusion. So with that, we choose one and then we prompt the system. Good. So the system has acknowledged that we have selected pedagogic knowledge with ICT inclusion. That is same or gender, and here is an introduction and key topics based on your curriculum. 
the curriculum that is guiding your study or the curriculum with which your study is planned around in the college. So here we have the course title which is Pedagogic Knowledge with ICT and Inclusion. And there's an introductory uh, um, notes to the course which is this course focuses on equipping teacher trainees with knowledge skills and attitudes required to integrate inclusive teaching practices and ICT in diverse classroom settings. The goal is to support all learners, including those with special education needs, whilst addressing gender equity in education. Wonderful. So here are the key concepts. These are the key concepts. So here we have one which is inclusion inclusive education principles under that we have definition and importance of inclusion in education understanding diversity in classrooms barriers in inclusion gender equity in education which is the second topic we have identifying gender biases in teaching and learning developing strategies to promote and what are we so many of them then the next step do you need detailed notes what is more wonderful than this and more helpful than this so the system is actually ready to assist you just like a good friend would do for you so do you need one a detailed notes on specific topic two some do you need sample teaching scenarios or practical applications so the first one for instance let's put one one let's go through and see which of the topics um let's say um, inclusive education principles so let's choose that one inclusive education principles and then the second let's say that um, yes we want teaching yes we want this just type yes the system knows that your response to the second question is yes so we continue with the system good wow that's great so this is the topic we chose and we requested for comprehensive notes and um, it's on inclusion inclusive education principles and we have it here inclusive education ensures that all learners regardless of their ability gender socioeconomic background status or background can assess quality education in a supportive environment and here's a detailed breakdown so the system has given you a detailed breakdown systematic and very simple concise and then straightforward there is no ambiguity or whatsoever in how the system works so we have pillars of inclusion inclusive education access one of the pillars is access the second pillar is participation. The third pillar is equity. The fourth pillar is quality. Barriers to inclusion, physical barriers, cultural barriers. We have curriculum limitations, resource constraints, and what have you. Several of them, several of them. Now, quickly, let's move to the next, the last part of it. The study body is asking you again. Your friend is asking you, would you like additional examples of inclusion inclusive teaching strategies or scenarios or assistance with creating teaching strategies or materials for your coursework just say yes 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 we need that yes yes we need that good in fact the scenario is, is being given and see the first one from what we are even seeing we have several scenarios because this is scenario one it means that there is going to be a second scenario Oh, I said it. Here is it. So, with the first scenario, it says challenges. The student struggles with reading printed materials and assessing visual contents like diagrams or videos. 
And this is the strategies that you can use to help such a student. One, using assistive technologies, providing materials like in braille or audio formats, use screen readers like JAWS. JAWS, the full meaning of JAWS is Job Access with Speech or Text to Speech Software. This software um, is able to read out information on smart devices to those who are uh, visually impaired. That is very great. And then we have the second scenario. When you go to the second scenario, addressing gender equity. So the challenge has been given. Boys dominate discussions in a science class, whilst girls seem hesitant to engage. And it gives you strategies to mitigate such a challenge or address such a problem. This is so wonderful. Now, um, we can continue and continue. The system is there for you 24-7. Just as I said, um, it is not in a haste. It doesn't have to tell you that I'm going somewhere for that matter. Let's continue our discussion some other time. It is ever ready so far as you have time to interact with it. Now, the next one says what? Would you like help creating lesson materials or guidance for assessment in inclusive classrooms? When you say yes, the system is going to assist you in this regard. Now, be, 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 um, let's just say that um, kindly, kindly write... Kindly write some multiple choice questions. Sorry, questions. Sorry, questions for this lesson. For this lesson. Good. Multiple choice questions, inclusive education principles and here are some multiple choice questions with the answers selected for you so you don't need to struggle that's why i say you have to be smart in your studies so one of the questions the first question says what is the main goal of inclusion inclusive education a to provide specialized schools for children with disabilities B, to ensure all children learn in the same classroom regardless of their abilities. C, to prioritize high achieving students. And to um, D, to segregate students based on their needs. And the answer is B, which is to ensure all students or learners in the classroom are in the same classroom regardless of their abilities. This is so wonderful. I will leave you here. You can go on and on and interact with the system. Thank you so much for your attention and enjoy your teacher education um, journey. And I wish you all the best in your subsequent endeavors as far as your studies is concerned. Thank you so much and have a nice day.